The suspect accused of opening fire inside a Colorado gay club will stand trial. Anderson Lee Aldrich faces more than 300 counts. He's charged with attacking Club Q in Colorado Springs, killing five people and injuring more than a dozen others. NBC News correspondent Maura Barrett joins us now. Maura, what else did we learn from today's hearing? Any surprises? Well, Allison, of those 300 plus charges, Anderson Lee Aldrich faces counts of first degree murder, assault, and bias motivated crime. So the purpose of the preliminary hearing was whether or not those hate crimes, those bias motivated crimes, should be thrown out because there is speculation about whether uh, Aldrich was targeting uh, the LGBTQ nightclub because of any hatred against uh, that community. Uh, and that's what we heard a lot of back and forth with from the defense and the prosecution. But ultimately, the judge did decide that trial will go forward with all 323 charges, including those hate crime charges. But in the process of that, we had a lot of questions answered uh, in terms of the involvement of Aldrich with Club Q and any planning that might have gone into it. Uh, we learned that the, the detectives investigating the case had found a rough sketch of, of a map of Club Q inside the suspect's home, as well as data from scanner ID systems in the club showing that Aldrich had uh, frequented the club at least six times but prior to the shooting. Uh, they found shooting targets targets that were decorated with rainbow stripes uh, in the, the suspect's home. Uh, as well as some other parts of guns that didn't have serial numbers, uh, which means that they couldn't have been tracked with a background check. Uh, and then they also detailed that uh, they found a website, a neo-Nazi hate speech website that Aldrich had apparently uh, created and made some friends, admins as well, where they often used homophobic and racist language. And so a lot of the pushback we saw from the defense was saying that this wasn't a targeted attack. They pointed out uh, evidence uh, presented about the mental health of the suspect as well as drug use uh, prior to the shooting, the, the suspect admitting to detectives in interviews that they had taken Adderall, Xanax, uh, cocaine, uh, and fentanyl prior to the shooting. And they were also pres prescribed uh, a long list of prescriptions for drugs that are typically used to treat symptoms of depression, anxiety, PTSD, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. And so that's something the defense focused on. But ultimately, the judge decided that there is probable cause to go forward with all 300 plus charges. The first arraignment hearing is set for the end of May. Allison. All right, Maura Barrett, thank you. We appreciate your reporting. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.